Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with MacTech here with another transmission from Keyboard World. Now this was not a video I was planning on making, but I, uh, I'll be honest, uh, this link came across the, uh, the subreddit's Discord back in June, and there was a discount code. It wasn't much. I want to say it was 10%. So, but all in all, these caps are 2250 shipped, I believe. Well, plus tax. Um, and I completely forgot about them. And then they arrived in the mail uh, the other day, and I was like, wow. Huh. Because they actually called these ASA, but they're not quite ASA. They're more of an ASA XDA. I don't know if you can see the profile. I mean, there is definitely a curve, but they're almost, it's almost a flat profile, but they're definitely a lot taller. And the legends are actually quite similar. Um, the sides are PC, but they have three different colors. Uh, this one's the soda. Um, or no, they're all soda. No. No, they got green soda and orange and red. So I haven't seen the red. I've seen the orange and the lime, the green. But the keycaps, they're actually, I mean, they said that these are double shot. So it's almost like a new take on pudding caps. They're, they're quite... <laughs> I, I, must, I must say they they um they they're much better than I expected um, because they were so cheap. I was not expecting anything of uh oh there we go. I was like, well, why isn't the lights coming on? So you can see that because well, especially with these because of the dark background that they have, it almost looks like they are you know completely I mean they're double shot with this plastic but it almost because the plastic has color to it you know they're not completely blind with no lights coming through there's some that are shine through that I've seen and I'm usually not a fan of shine through keycaps but that said these are are extremely I mean they're well made um, they sell for uh, they're, they're hex gears I never heard of the company before. I guess they make gaming keyboards, but they're trying to get into this market. Um, so, but it, you know, and it was just one of the regulars on the subreddit that shared the link. Um, so they did ship. They took close to four weeks um, to get here. Uh, but again, I had forgotten about it, so it wasn't like I was waiting for them. But then I got them. I put them first on a uh, CIY X77. Though I, the switches are silent, homemade silent switches. I didn't want to use those because you wouldn't really get much of a sound. It's just kind of muted. So I put it on this Tester 84. I'll put the link below to this keycaps or this uh, keyboard in particular with uh, an MT3 keycap set. I believe it was dubbed TTY. So if you want to get um, the the difference, but I'm going to do you know a proper sound test. I actually find that they, they uh, oh yeah the uh, switches that are in it are a Franken switch that I made. It's just the uh, stem from an Otemu uh, Red Panda and the housing of an uh, Akko um, Starfish, and I call them uh, Panda Fish. So whatever. Um, I kind of like how they sound, especially on this keyboard, seeing as it's, you know, all one surface. It's not a gasket mount. It's just a regular top mount, but it sounds pretty good in my opinion. So um, I just wanted to do a quick review. They sound, they um, sound, they feel really nice. They have a nice texture. Uh, they don't have a shine. I believe 
or PBT on top and PC on the side. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but they have a, a nice texture to them, and the shine through is actually quite nice because, yes, it. it, it the color does mute it some, but it doesn't change it all that much. It it softens it in a nice way, and it. I mean, I had put in caps at one point, so I can't. I mean, I'll never hate on anybody for their choices. I may not pick it myself, but that's what they like. Good for them. Um, but I got out of the phase pen caps but I gotta say these look quite nice I like how the light uh, shines through these and the fact that um, they're, uh, they're actually decently priced 25 bucks um, you don't find too many like cheap keycap sets at that price I mean you can but they're usually you know not uh, very good. I wanted to go ahead and because <clears throat> I know somebody will ask take a measurement and see the thickness of these caps. Zero it out. Alright. Let's open it up. And take the control key. Alright, so we're dealing with on uh, the body about 1.4 a little over 1.4 try the other uh, take it out uh, yep about 1.4 so at least we're above um, a millimeter uh, that that to me is my my uh, standard anything below a millimeter thickness and wall is going to be too clacky too plasticky so for um again 25 bucks uh like i said i, I bought these i'm not i don't chill, chill for companies um I, I i was very surprised i was honestly very surprised i like these a lot um so that's why i said i made a video they actually the container is very cute uh it had a soda pop top i in hindsight i should have kept it but I didn't. Um, but it still has a nice container. You know, it's long enough to fit all the keys, including the space bar. And it fit on a TKL. This is an 84. Uh, the shift keys that it has, it should fit um, on most 65s and possibly even 60s. So, and, and full, because it does have the numpad. So, it's... It's a pretty good uh, uh, combination. I mean, pretty good set, keycap set, uh, from a company that I've never heard before, but I guess they've been around. Let's, uh, let's just sling around my, uh, my calipers, because, you know, why not? That doesn't belong in there. All right, so I'll be right back with a sound test. <laughs> 